Hi there. Now, in this question here on hypothesis testing, if you looked at the previous video that I did for this question, you'll know that I answered it by a probability method. And in this video, I'm just going to answer it by considering critical value. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, if you haven't seen it already or tried it, I'll just uh, give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you through the critical value method. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, in the previous video, what we did was we looked at defining a random variable, x, and I said that that random variable x was the number of defective bolts, where x was distributed as a binomial distribution, number of trials was 200, and the probability of getting a defective bolt, I just called it p. And we were told that the machine produce 3% defective bolts. So assuming that P is still 0.03, the null hypothesis, then the alternative hypothesis was P was greater than 0.03. I knew that because there were 12 defective bolts produced by this new machine. And it's increased because if 3% were defective, then I would expect 3% of 200 bolts to be defective. 3% of 200 is 6. So we've got 12 bolts were defective, so that would suggest that the proportion P of defective bolts has increased. And to do this hypothesis test, we've got to use a suitable approximation. And that's referring to the binomial distribution. And since n is greater than 50, it's 200 in this case, and p is less than 0 0.2, these are the conditions that allow you to approximate a binomial to a Poisson. So I've said that the random variable x for the binomial is now approximately a Poisson distribution with mean lambda. And lambda is equal to NP, the mean from a binomial distribution. So that's going to be 200 for N times P at 0.03, and that comes to 6. So again, that's telling us that we're expecting 6 defective bolts from this machine, yet we get 12, so that's why we think that the proportion should be higher. Now... I normally write a statement like this if you've been watching my videos in the past on hypothesis testing. And if you watched the previous video, I would have written, reject the null hypothesis. If the probability of getting more than 12 defective bolts, given that x is distributed as a Poisson distribution approximately, turns out to be less than or equal to 5%. And I went on to work out what that probability was and compared it to the 0 0.05. But if we're doing the critical value method, then all I do is I just change this to, let's say, the letter R for the critical value. So if I just put greater than or equal to R, then I've got to find out what that value of R is and then compare the observed value to it, OK? So in order to do this, let's just work out what that probability has to be. So we've got the probability that x is greater than or equal to the critical value r, given then that x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with mean 6 approximately, OK? So I'll just put a prox in there. And that's got to be less than or equal to 0 0.05. And so I've got to rearrange this because I'm going to be looking at using the cumulative Poisson distribution tables. And they give me the probability of being less than or equal to a given value. So that means that the probability of x being greater than or equal to, say, r, is the same as 1 minus, OK, we'll just put this in here, therefore 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to r minus 1. 
Okay, you've got to take care there. R minus 1, because we've got it being greater than or equal to R there. Given then that x is distributed as a Poisson with a mean of 6 approximately, then that's got to be less than or equal to the 0 0.05. And if I rearrange this, making the probability x being less than or equal to r minus 1 the subject, we've got the probability that x is less than or equal to r minus 1. Given then that x is distributed as a Poisson with a mean of 6 approximately, I know that's a bit of a handful to keep writing in, but I do encourage you to do that. Then that's got to be greater than or equal to 0 0.95. Now we can use the tables, and if we bring up the tables, then I'm looking down the column where the mean lambda is 6, come down the column until I get to the first value that is greater than 0.95. And I can see that that's this one in here at 10. So therefore, what we've got is that from tables, I can see, let's just write from tables, from tables, bit of a squeeze in here if I'm to get it all on, but from tables, r minus 1 would equal 10. And that means that if I have 1 to both sides, r must equal 11. So that means then that because the critical value is 11 and we observe 12 as being defective, then that's past that critical value. And so according to this, we would reject the null hypothesis. So we've got that since... 12 is greater than 11. That means that we would reject the null hypothesis. And that is that there is evidence to suggest that the proportion of defective bolts has increased. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea anyway how to do that. Don't forget you can check out all my video tutorials on hypothesis testing if you just go on my website. Okay, 